Hey everybody, Rob here for another Saturday. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Sorry, super gross. Anyway, um, so for this weekly update of the channel and uh, me in real life, um, again, not much going on for me. I mean, I've been having like a few things here and there, but overall, just like life is pretty. Um, pretty boring uh i think the most cre well okay we went to the ren fair last week and that was super fun um and then after we all hung out and we we're gonna watch moulin rouge which i've never seen but um it didn't happen because we didn't actually have the movie so oh well um and then i worked uh for the whole week and then I had today off, and I'll have tomorrow off, because we're going to the Renfair again. Um, it's the last time I'm going to be able to go, because next weekend's the last weekend, but I have no one to go with. So I'm not going to go. Well, I might go. I'm thinking about it. Tiny, tiny little chance that I might want to go, but I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. Um, <sighs> sorry, after tomorrow, oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, my tongue's, like, really dry, so I got that, like, that thing where it's, like, it sticks in the back. Ugh, ugh. Is my, what, what is, what is happening here? Oh, it's charging. My, one of the lights on my computer was on, it's like, um, no, you should be working right now. Anyway, so, um, that's pretty much been it for me, like, the whole week. Um, haven't done any recording or anything, just because I haven't had the time. Um, and I haven't done Mass Effect recently because I don't know, uh, I can't get punished, I have my computer and I don't want to get rid of it, but I think I'm going to have to. It's not even that I want to save it to use it for something, I don't want to get rid of it because that's so much effort and time I put into that game and having it only on the channel afterward terrifies me because I don't want to lose it and I have no other idea the only thing I can think of is putting it onto a disc but I wouldn't know how to get it off the disc I have to like just I don't know just watch it um so that's like bugging me and I don't know what to do so I'm gonna talk to people and see if I can get any advice um Otherwise, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to, gonna have to delete it all. I've even compressed it. I've done everything in my power to make it as small as possible in my computer. It's just, it's not small enough, so I'm sad. Um, and then meanwhile, there's been some friend drama, but not like big or anything. Mostly just me trying to deal with stuff and not knowing how to deal with it. Um. Nothing I can really go into, I guess, because, I don't know, I don't want to dredge it up here. Um, I'm just, um, well, I guess I've already brought it up. It has to do with people being in relationships, and I'm still not in a relationship, and I'm trying to get into a damn relationship, and nobody, like, I don't really know what to do anymore when it comes to this kind of stuff, and my phone just froze. Fun. So, my issue is that every time I use one of these, like, dating apps or anything, and I know dating apps are not the best thing to use when looking for people, but I don't know what else to do to look for people, because anytime I'm going out or anything like that, if you go to a club, I just want to go and hang out with my friends. I'm not going to look for people. That has to be the main goal of going out, is to find, you know, people to meet. Um, otherwise, like, I, I just, I'm just there to dance and have fun kind of thing. So I use these dating apps as like a sort of backup tool. And I had a coffee date, my first one, not like an actual date. So I can still say that I've never been on a date, which I don't know why I'm happy about. But um, there's just no way it was going to ever work out because we're two very different places in our lives. Um, and we want the same, we want similar, we wanted similar things, but we wanted them at different times. So it was just not going to happen. And he was way too clingy. So that happened. Um, anyway, uh, 
beyond that, um, it seems like every guy I ever talked to is either just looking for sex, which not into, um, or is like way older than I am, or way younger than I am, or and I don't want to say this, but it's not very fortunate looking. Um, and that make, might make me sound shallow, but, you know. My thing is, like, if you're not physically attracted to somebody, no matter how unfortunate looking they might be or not, it's, you know, it's harder to... Because that's, like, statistically proven that you are, like, I think it's not not a lot, but, like, enough to make a difference. Like, 30% more likely to develop feelings for somebody if you find them physically attractive as opposed to developing feelings for somebody and then you start to find them attractive. If you, it's like, it's in that initial, cause that's the first thing you notice about people. Um, for the, it's the first thing your brain memorizes or something as opposed to how they sound or anything else. It's your, your, vi the visual obviously, cause it's visual for pretty much everything in the world, but specifically with people, you remember, you're more likely to remember a face than anything else, which is why people can have not seen each other for years and they still kind of recognize each other. Um, as opposed to, you know, names or anything like that. Uh, and that's not for everybody, obviously. It's like a generalization, but generalization is not specific. So, So the point is, yeah, I'm like... People are like, you're, you're too picky and all that. And I'm like, I'm not picky. I'm just, I, I have standards. And I, again, that sounds really bad and it sounds really shallow. And I'm fully aware of that. But I'm not going to go for somebody who I'm like totally unattracted to physically and just hope that it works out. Like, to me, that's a version of settling, which I'm not really willing to do considering I've never done anything. So... Um, I have, however, recently started to say I'm going to lower my expectations, not my standards. So I'm just kind of going by assuming that everybody's not going to work out and then hope for the best that they do, because that's what I do for most things anyway. Um, what else? Oh, so I've been watching, it took me 10 years, but I finally finished watching Queer as Folk, the US version, because I watched the first, like, Three seasons forever ago, and then I had to rewatch. Like, I started in the middle, like season two. I got I watched like the first two seasons, then had to rewatch them and watch the third season like two years later. And now, like five or six years after that second time, I started watching it from like the end of the second season, and then all the third, fourth, and fifth season finally. And I just finished it the other night, and it's sad because I was not. I hate when shows don't end the way you want them to, but they still end really well. Because then it's like, I want to be angry, but I can't. And I don't know how to process this grief. So, that happened. And I'm... I'm just... I'm just kind of letting it go, because I don't know what else to do. Um, but, anyway, so... Terrible representation of gay culture but still a really, really well done show, and it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's, 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 it's a guilty pleasure, it's like, I shouldn't like this, but I do, I shouldn't like this on principle, but I love it, so, um, if you're just looking for like a fun, just really like shades of gray in the moral area kind of show, um, that still can be like heartwarming and um, deep, insightful, then, uh, <laughs> deep, then give it a shot, it's on Netflix, the all five seasons of it, um, and let yourself be the best homosexual you can possibly be. Uh, other than that, and Red Fair, and games, and work, there's nothing I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, I was going with the dating thing, um, Get how I got the queer spoke from there. The point is, with the whole dating thing of my friends, um, it's like I, the two that have been together forever. It's their anniversary next Sunday, not this, not tomorrow. Um, and they're going to the Ren Fair, and you know, no, no problem with that at all. 
um, happy that they're, you know, doing something so fun. And then I found out last night that Bumble and his new boyfriend are going to the Ren Fair as well. And I'm like, oh, I'll go. do you mind if I go with you? Like, I didn't realize anybody else was going otherwise, you know. And they're like, well, his boyfriend's like, oh, well, I was just going to take him just as, like, an us thing. And I'm like, see, I don't have an issue with that either, but... I have literally no one else to go with who would not that I wouldn't enjoy being there, but like we wouldn't be able to. Okay, the like Bumble and Shy Guy and Catwin and our other friend uh, Christina were like that. We're that little clicky group. Well, not really clicky per se, but we're that group. You know, we can interact with each other all five of us, or just four of us, or three of us, or just two of us, and we know how to how to interact with each other on different levels, and I'm not good at doing that with other people, because it's like, with all my work friends, I act how I am at work, I don't really know, like, even if we're not at work, I don't know how to be different around them, and different things like that with different friends from different settings, and it gets frustrating, oh, excuse me, it gets frustrating to, to not know particularly where you stand with somebody. So as much as I'd like to go with somebody else, or just another group of people, I wouldn't know what to do, if that makes sense. It's this, it's that, like, you wouldn't, say you have like, all your movie-loving friends and all of your sports-loving friends, you're not going to go to a sports game with your movie friends. You're not going to go to a movie with your sports friends, unless it's like a sports movie or something. Some, You know, like little tiny little things that can overlap, but like, you're not going to go to, for me, I'm not going to take my, uh, my party animal friends, my drinking friends, to run fair. I mean, unless they wanted to go, but then it would be a totally different experience from like my core friends, or my other like groups of friends and I'm just like I don't I wouldn't mind it'd be fun to be able to go on the last weekend with people but I'm just right now just because I literally have nothing else to do I might just end up going like I'll go with Bumble just as a carpool and then just like go do my own thing because I don't really know what else to do so um that's just been my issue because it's like I don't I don't I don't know so anyway that that's pretty much been my week because that happened last night like I said um I don't know anything else that I could say and it's been 13 minutes so far and I'm late for a party, so I should probably wrap this up and go, so. Um, that being said, because I'm going to rent for tomorrow with Catwin's family, there will definitely not be a Beyond Good and Evil, but I will get back on that next week for you, because um, I have no plans now. Um, and again, I'm going to try a new Mass Effect if I can. If not, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, it's really difficult for me to want to just delete Bioshock altogether, and I'm, like, terrified of doing that, so. Um, that being said, I hope you all have had a good week, and hope you'll have a good week, um, ne next week. My advice to you is, and I think I might have mentioned this before, but don't let yourself be the third or fifth or seventh or ninth wheel, um, even if it means having to, like, go out and make new people, this is also advice for me, um, go, just go, go, if you, if it's something you really want to do, and there's, like, very few reasons to not do it, then just go, just do it, and have fun with it, and try to make new friends, you know, because then you don't always have to be doing the same things with the same people all the time, especially when... Every now and again, it kind of feels like those people don't want to be doing stuff with you. Even if you know they don't actually feel that way. So, See you later, everybody. Um, have a good week. Bye.